what if you want to run a secret Santa, but without Santa? For a gift exchange like a secret Santa, you need everyone in a group of people to buy a gift for someone else in that group, but without anyone finding out who their gift is from. And usually, in order to keep the Santa's secret, you need someone to coordinate and make sure everyone knows who to buy for. But it turns out you can cut out the middleman in the red suit and replace him with some middle maths. Here is one way of sorting out a secret Santa without anyone finding out who sent their gift. It's called a zero knowledge protocol because nobody at any point finds out anything they're not supposed to. First, you make a list of all the people and number them from one upwards. Person number one picks a random number X1 and passes it on to person number two. Person number two then picks a different random number, X2, adds it to the list, shuffles the list before passing it on to person number three. The third person then adds their own different random number, X3, and permutes the list again. This keeps going until everyone has added a random number and permuted the list randomly. So person M, the last person, then sends the list back to the first person, who then looks through the list to find where the number that they put on at the start has ended up after all the shuffling. Whatever position their random number is now in, that's the person that they're sending a gift to. So here, my number is in the fifth position, so I must send a gift to the fifth person in the list. We could, at this point, just let everyone look at that reordered list to see who they need to send to. But because everyone saw some of the numbers in the previous round, they might be able to use this information to work out who some of the Santas are. But we can fix this by passing the list round again with one extra task, which everyone needs to do just after they've located their number in the list. Then they replace the random number they originally put in, X1, with a new random number, Y1. Then they pass the list on to the next person, without changing the order. The next person to get the list, person 2, finds their original random number, X2, jots down what position it is, that's the person they're buying a gift for. They then replace that with a new random number, Y2, again, don't shuffle, pass it on to the next person, and it will carry all the way around the entire circuit, people, back to where it started. And at no point will anyone have any idea who's buying them a gift. When you pick a permutation at random, there's actually about a 1 in E chance that it is what's called a derangement, which is an ordering that moves everything to something different. So if you just pick a permutation randomly, there's actually a reasonable probability, about two-thirds, that someone is going to end up buying a gift for themselves, which is not ideal. Uh, and in fact, the only way to fix this is for that person to announce to everyone that it's failed and scrap the whole thing and start again. or buy themselves something they actually want and never tell anyone. In our case, we actually managed to get a derangement first time, which is impressively efficient. This method isn't perfect, so I found it on a post on Math Stack Exchange, which I have put a link to below this video, uh, and in that post they discuss some of the issues with this and why it doesn't quite work perfectly. But in general, these kinds of protocols can be used in computer authentication and verification systems, they can be used to prove the identity of parties in remote exchanges, and for sharing data securely online. <laughs> so, if you're organising a secret Santa or equivalent festive gift exchange, consider letting maths do all the thinking for you, and use a zero-knowledge protocol to keep Santa a secret. My secret Santa gift arrived when I had some friends in the office with me and their kids helped me open it. Uh, there you are, my zero knowledge secret Santa. And it was four stamps, not just any stamps. We realized pretty quickly you can roll out a times table. Amazing, thank you. Zero knowledge secret Santa, great gift.